Welcome back to Healing Your Grief, Two Minutes at a Time. This week we are going to talk about the anatomy of trust. You know, after we lose a loved one or a relationship ends or a friend betrays us, it is really hard to get back in that saddle and to start trusting again. But this week we're going to go over this awesome tool that's going to help you heal those wounds a little and, a lot, and get you to a place where you can feel brave enough to connect again and to trust. So I am a self-help talk junkie. I'm always listening to podcasts and speakers. And this week I listened to Brene Brown's amazing talk on the anatomy of trust. And she said she gave a definition of two words that was so profound and so healing that that's what I wrote my whole thing on this week. And it was two words, the words trust and distrust. So trust is choosing to make something that is important to you vulnerable to the actions of someone else. Think about that, right? That, that's what trust is, is allowing to show that part that's really important to you to someone else. And then we're at a place where we're subject to their actions, right? And if they covet that and honor that and respect that, then you feel connected and you feel like you can trust each other. Distrust is what I've shared with you that is important to me is not safe with you. And I think it was that word safe for me that was so healing and made me look back at all of these other experiences that I had where I felt like I distrusted people. And I recognized that it was my, my doing of feeling unsafe. And then I took a moment where I thought about then at that time period, what was going on in their life? Maybe they had a lot of work going on. Maybe they were having a falling out with their family or their friends. Maybe they were struggling with an illness. There's all these things. And so I began to write them down and I began to write out what it was that they might have been struggling with at that time. And then something happened in my heart. I began to feel more compassion, more love, more connection. And then I recognized that I had begun to heal and began to feel braver. I began to feel more willing to trust those people again. And so that's the very thing I want you to do this week. I want you to write a list out of those people that you feel like don't deserve your trust or distrust and write out what they did and then try to go back in time and write out all the things that they had going on in their life at that time and you may just find that it's this picture that we paint in our heads that isn't always accurate or true this is so powerful and so healing and please don't do this one in your head take the five minutes in the scrap paper to write it out it is so powerful when you write it out you can burn it after it's tear it up does not matter I cannot wait to hear in your comments down below how this works for you, how you may feel a little braver now to connect and trust and to heal. Please subscribe to my channel. My videos are up every Thursday, and I hope you have a great week. Take care.